Okay, well, the first thing we're going to do for this new project is create a new folder. So that new folder is going to be called Automata or Automata. A U, oops, U T O M A T A. Automata. Create. Creating this new folder called Automata. And this is where we're going to go and build all of our things. Um, so, going to create a new document. This one is going to be called Circle Cam Offset because it's not going to be center, so it's going to be offset. Oop, I got to have two F's offset. So it's not going to be centered. The center of this cam is not going to be in the center. It's going to be offset. We're going to create it on our front view. Front view, sketch on our front plane. And I'm going to start with a circle. And that circle is going to be 1.5 inches. And then in the center, I want to have um, nothing because the axle is not centered on this one. So I'm going to start with a center point rectangle. I know it needs to be lined up with the center here. I'm going to come down here, draw me a rectangle, and it's going to be 0.25. 0.25 because that's the size of our axle. Last thing I want to do is dimension from the center of the circle to the top line of our little square and that's going to be 0 0.35 inches. Green check mark. Extrude. We're going to extrude this. Green check mark change the color. I like green, but you can choose any color you want. They just need to be different colors from each other when we create all of these different cams. And there you go. Change it to isometric. Oh, look at that depth. How silly of me. My depth is supposed to be 0.25. Can't believe I made that silly mistake. Zoom in on it. And so when you turn this in, you're going to take two pictures. The first one is going to be of the sketch itself. So you're going to double tap on sketch one. And I need a picture of all of the dimensions. I don't take it away so far that I can't see what's going on. I need you to zoom in on it so that I can see all of the dimensions. That's going to be your first screenshot. Green check mark. And this, uh, is going to be your second screenshot. So you're going to turn in two screenshots and that will be worth a C. All right, if you want a grade that's better than a C, you're going to have to put some kind of design inside of this face, some kind of created design. Uh, we don't want it to be extruded. We want it to be removed. If you extrude it, it might bump up against the other pieces. So we don't want that. So it needs to be removed. I don't care what kind of design it is. It could be anything. It could be your initials. It could be uh, some kind of squiggly lines. I don't care. The more creative it is, the better your grade is going to be. I will give you an example here. This is going to be a fairly uh, simple design. I'm going to do a, a sketch on the face of extrusion one here, and I'm going to start with, I need a center space here just to give it something to revolve around. 0.25, I'm going to create that one. That looks good. Uh, then I'm going to, let's give it a wall on the outside. Also, this one's going to be 1.25. I kind of like that. And now I'm going to give it some uh, uh, something that I can pattern. So I'm going to draw me a line going straight down, touching between these two walls. To turn this uh, line tool off, I just click a second time and it turns it off. I'm going to come over here and do it again. Line it up, make sure that I am uh, vertical. Click. 
and then to turn it off I just click again I'm gonna zoom in here make sure that I'm actually touching them looks like I am that's good let's dimension between these two from here to here let's give it something like 0.2 the distance between here and the center is 0.1 excellent uh, so now let's do a circular pattern remember it starts off linear pattern we're going to do a circular pattern and i think i'm going to circle pattern these two lines i could leave it like this but i think three is kind of boring uh, let's change this i'm going to move this out here so you can see it i'm going to change that to five i think that looks pretty good i'm going to green check mark click out here now one of the things you'll notice is if you accidentally start to move these guys everything starts to move and i don't want to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to coincidence this center point right on the center point and locks everything in so i kind of like this design it's all black because it's all dimensioned out correctly I'm going to green check mark and then I'm going to come over here and extrude. I want to extrude these little triangles one, two, three, four, and probably not this one because this is where my space is. And if I do this one uh, and hit remove, it removes where my square is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off that last one. I think that looks kind of good green check mark I kind of like how that looks and so this is what I'm going to turn into my teacher remember I need two different pictures turned in so if you're going for the extra points beyond the grade of C then what you'll need to do is open up the sketch so I can see how you did it you'll notice my numbers came off the top up here I need to zoom out so that I can see them you might pull them down so that I can see all the dimensions, I can see what's going on. You're gonna take a screenshot of that, green check mark. You'll take a second screenshot of the uh, extruded piece. So two pictures, four pictures, uh, and turn them all in for your grade. Good luck.